so that's why we are not going to find tyrannosaurus rex in india hello in this video lecture i am going to discuss about the distribution and the different kind of dinosaurs that are found in india but before going to the uh, list of the dinosaurs uh, i would like to give you some background information about the geology of india in order to understand the distribution and diversity of these creatures dinosaur evolution can be tracked back to early triassic period of the mesozoic era and at that time uh, the planet earth had a supercontinent called pangaea and this is the pangaea here we have eurasia that means europe and asia this is south this is north america this is south america africa india antarctica and australia and these were a single continent and uh, we call it pangaea all of the continent that we know today are uh, well united and forming a pangaea but by the end of triassic period the supercontinent start breaking and this resulted two supercontinent one is laurasia and second is gondwana and here we can see the laurasia and the gondwana land okay the laurasia comprises eurasia and north america while the gondwana land comprises south america africa madagascar india antarctica and australia and the term the and the term gondwana land is came from the indian tribe gond and gond is a sanskrit term for the gond tribes of central india and we are not going to find any tyrannosaurus rex in gondwana land because tyrannosaurus rex are uh, restricted themselves in the uh, in the laurasia okay so uh, when the, as the dinosaur were evolving in the early triassic at that time we had a supercontinent pangaea so uh, whatever the organism is uh, they they can migrate all through the continent because dinosaurs are terrestrial organisms so they cannot swim in the oceanic water okay so they got this to the basal dinosaurs got distributed all over the continent the basal uh, saurischian and ornithischian dinosaurs were distributed all uh, all the all along the pangaea but as the as these uh, as these continents start drifting they start for they they form laurasia and the gondwana so there is a uh, separation okay geographical separation you can say that which are restricting the laurasian dinosaurs to migrate in the gondwana land and uh, gondwana land dinosaurs are restricted to go back to the laurasia okay and because the tyrannosaurus rex and its family tyrannosauridae they were evolved on uh, after in the jurassic and after jurassic and the cretaceous period okay so the tyrannosaurus rex was uh, in the end of the cretaceous period and even if we track down their evolution they are emerging in the jurassic so by then they have laurasia and the gondwana so that's why we do not find any lineage of tyrannosaurus rex in the gondwana land so that's why we are not going to find tyrannosaurus rex in india